We begin tonight by acknowledging the land on which we present, the Haldeman Tract, traditional territory of the Neutral, Anishinaabe, and Haudenosaunee peoples. This territory is covered by the Upper Canada and Haldeman Treaties. We recognize the contributions that Métis, Inuit, and other Indigenous peoples have made in shaping and strengthening this community, our province, and our country. As settlers, this recognition of the contributions and importance of Indigenous peoples must be clearly and overtly connected to our collective commitment. We must make the promise of truth and reconciliation real in our communities. Furthermore, we recognize that the devastating effects of colonialism are ongoing, and we would like to take this opportunity to bring mindfulness to our present participation. We are grateful for our opportunity to be here, and we thank all the generations of Indigenous peoples who have taken care of this land for thousands of years and continue to care for this land today. Hi everyone! Good evening! Welcome! My name is Dylan Langan, and I am the General Director of Vera Casa Opera. Uh, it is my pleasure to be able to welcome you to Hansel and Gretel, the movie, our first ever opera movie, and I could not be more proud to be sharing in the viewing of it with you from the comfort of my couch this evening. Uh, when I would like to take a moment first, before we get started, and thank everyone who was involved in this project. If you are a participant watching, you are awesome, and I am personally so grateful that you took the time to be involved in this show. Uh, for those of you who are just watching, definitely check out the credits at the end for the grand list of all the folks who made this possible. Uh, when I started VCO five years ago, it was to give opportunities to folks who needed them, particularly young artists like myself. Today, our programs and our operations have expanded beyond my wildest dreams, and it is such a privilege to be able to operate in this region and have the support of everyone in it. With COVID, we've had to adapt virtually everything we've done on an incredibly tight timeline, and there has to be thanks given to the operations team of five young adults, including myself, um, who have made this whole transition possible. That said, in light of COVID, it's been really tough for us. It's no secret it's been tough for folks in the arts, but particularly for a smaller organization um, that's advocating for change so that young artists get the funding they deserve. We need your support. We need it now more than ever. And I am just so grateful that you are watching this evening. Right below this video is a donate button. If you can take a couple seconds there and give a contribution to VCO, it would mean the absolute world to everyone here. If you have donated already, well, thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, it makes such a difference in the lives of everyone that's involved here. This film is such a bright and fun new future for VCO. I am so pleased to be sharing it with you. So go ahead, grab your snacks. I'm a man of the kettle chips. I love my kettle chips. There is no sponsorship associated with them. I just want to let you know it's a good snack if you're planning on having one. Uh, but whatever snack you're having or whatever beverage you're having with it, thank you guys so much. And please, enjoy the show. Thanks for your support.
think so to my wife. Oh, sir, I was at work all day. Now I must be in the house. Well, well, then let us see, my dear. What do we have to eat today? A very simple bill of fare. A supper's gone, I know not where. Cupboard bear, kitchen bear, we don't have a crumb to spare. Look, mother, doesn't all this food please you? Wait, wait, is this here? Bacon, butter, flour and sausage, forty eggs, and they are now so expensive. Onions, turnips, and I say, here's some To be a great event, weddings, fairs, and preparation for all kinds of jubilation. Now's my time to do some selling. You shall see in the crowd all yelling. They who have a feast and laughter, they will need to clean it up after. And I brought my best goods there, walked with them around the square. By broomsticks, by broomsticks, by brushes in your carpets, in your carpets. And of course I made no sacrifices, I sold broomsticks of the highest price.
But what is the broom for? The broomstick, the broomstick, why, why is it for? Why, why is it for? They ride on it. They ride on it, the witches. A witch so old, she's growing mold. She lives alone in the forest, I'm told. At midnight hour, when nobody knows, away to the witch's land she goes. Chimney, they say, on a broomstick away, over hill and dale, over wood and bay, to our Lincoln, they thunder.
Oh, oh my, I didn't see you there. I'm sorry. Are you enjoying the show? Yeah, pretty good, eh? Pretty good so far. We're at our intermission, so if you have some snacks handy, definitely go grab those. Uh, definitely take a break. And we'll be back with you shortly with more awesome Hansel and Gretel footage. We hope you enjoyed Hansel and Gretel the movie and wanted to extend a huge thank you for your continued support of VCO even though you can't come and see us sing and shove candy into our faces in person. As an artist, it's been amazing to be able to make art again and so wonderful to share accessible opera with all of you. Hi everyone, I just wanted to extend a heartfelt thank you to anyone who watched and donated um, to VCO's Hansel and Gretel this fall. I hope you enjoyed it. The arts are super important always, but especially now in this period of isolation, we really appreciate your support and I hope you stay healthy and happy over the coming months. Hi, I'm Tracy from Tracy Screen Printing. We're in Waterloo. We are textile screen printers. We also promote embroidery and promotional products. I think that we serve a purpose in our community. It's important for Traces to give back to the community because the community supports us. We've been here 33 years. This is where we print all the shirts. We set up our orders, we print them, get them ready for the customer and send them out. Well, it's the creativity and just it's always something different. It usually takes a couple hours so that we can move on to something else and continuously do something different each time. People like their shirts. Seeing from like, you know, a blank canvas turn into something that people really love and are proud to wear. Like when we did uh, the university orientation, I went to a grocery store and I saw a whole bunch of students wearing the orientation shirts and that, that was a nice feeling. Well, the work incentives are great. I, I mean, who doesn't want to go on a trip? I mean, if you're working really hard and, and you know, right at the end of the year in October, it's a nice time to relax and kind of, you know, you know, look back at everything we've done and be like, oh, you know, we, we really earned this. I love Trace's screen printing now because it's evolved into a company with trip incentive and profit sharing and, and all the things we do, not just for employees, but for the community. I can be that company that I've always wanted to be now. The management here is very professional. Anytime you have a doubt or an issue or anything you want to talk about, you can always reach out to them. It doesn't matter which group they are from or which vehicle they are working on, but whenever we have an issue, we're all helping each other out. We aren't just co-workers. A lot of us are uh, good friends at work and outside of work as well. I really do feel like there is a good culture here where everyone wants what's best for the customer. We cannot do our job by ourselves alone. We have to work in various different groups across various different departments. And the culture we have at TMMC is if one department succeeds, everyone succeeds. 
Toyota also has BPG, which is a business partnering group where we can help create a more diverse environment. One of the BPGs here is women influencing and impacting Toyota, and it provides a diversity aspect within the company. Toyota also supports LGBTQ, United Way, and mental health. And Toyota is one of the biggest supporters of so many social causes. So we are again on set in Hansel and Gretel. I'm here with Georgina and Kennedy from the Dance Company Contemporary School of Dance. So tell me a little bit about yourselves and the company. So uh, Contemporary School of Dance is based in Waterloo. Um, we are a dance studio offering classes in ballet, jazz, tap, contemporary, uh, hip hop, musical theater. Musical theater. Yep, thank you. Um, and we have a dance company. Um, currently, we have about 20. 25 dancers awesome. ranging from ages 9 to 18. Yeah. Three. And around. Thank you. And quick. And quick. It's been a really awesome experience, not like anything I've ever done. Before. Cool. Yeah, especially with the in terms of the movie aspect, because I understand that you have done some of the operas before, right? Yeah. Uh, do you have any moments from there that come to mind? All of them. They're just also amazing. Uh, working with the opera was one of the first times I had worked with a live orchestra, so cool. that was a really cool experience for me in my first year of company. What would, advice would you give to someone who's you know looking to start getting into dance, thinking about joining CSD there, Temporary School of Dance? What would you tell them? Just get started. It's such a fun thing to do. I have been doing it since I was four or five and I absolutely love it. I don't know what my life would be without dance, but just get started. Dance is for everyone of all ages.
So, here is the big moment you've all been waiting for. Well, I guess technically you haven't been waiting for it because you had no idea it existed, but the moment is here. Uh, we are proud to announce that February's production of The Gondoliers by Gilbert and Sullivan will be yet another opera movie. We are super stoked. Uh, I can't reveal what the concept is yet. We haven't got the final location confirmed, but you're going to love it. It's going to be fun and just an absolute comedy versus the drama we are currently experiencing. But uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the film and support us. And check it out. Uh, we'll have details about The Gondoliers, another movie coming up in just a couple weeks. Thanks so much.
look at all these children. How did they get here?
Crunchy, she's crunchy too.